In this presentation, we will take a look at multiple choice questions related to budgeting, going through the questions, and then practicing test taking skills with them. First question. First, a word from our sponsor. Yeah, actually, we're sponsoring ourselves on this one because apparently the merchandisers, they don't want to be seen with us. But, but that's okay, whatever, because our merchandise is, is better than their stupid stuff anyways. Like this CPA thinking cap, for example. CPA thinking CAP, you see what we did with like with the letters? And this CPA thinking cap is not just for CPAs either. Anyone can and should have at least one, possibly multiple CPA thinking caps. Why? Because based on our scientific survey of five people, all of whom directly profit from the sale of these CPA thinking caps, wearing this CPA thinking cap without a doubt, according to the survey, increases accounting productivity tenfold. Yeah, at least. Yeah, apparently the hat actually channels like accounting energy from the quantum field ether directly into your head, allowing you to navigate spreadsheets faster. It's kind of like how in like the matrix when Neo learns Kung Fu, or at least that's what the scientific survey is saying. So get one because the scientific survey participants could really use some extra cash. If you would like a commercial free experience, consider subscribing to our website at accountinginstruction.com or accountinginstruction.thinkific.com, which would be on a budgeted balance sheet. A, advertising expense. B, sales revenue. C, cost of goods sold. D, accounts receivable, or E, all of the choices are correct. Let's go through this again using the process of elimination, which would be on a budgeted balance sheet. A, advertising expense. Now, the fact that it says expense would typically mean that it would be on the income statement. And note that although we're talking about a budgeted balance sheet here, most of the rules would generally apply. We'd have budgeted income and budgeted expenses on an income statement, budgeted assets, liabilities, and equity on the balance sheet. So advertising expenses probably wouldn't be on the balance sheet. That would be an income statement item. B, sales revenue. Once again, that's an income statement item, not a balance sheet item, so that would typically not be there. C says cost of goods sold. That too is an income statement item, not a balance sheet item, so typically no. D says accounts receivable. That's a balance sheet item typically, so I would think it would be on the budgeted balance sheet if we're talking about budgeted accounts receivable. And then the last one says all of the choices are correct, and we've eliminated three of them, and therefore that is not the case. And it looks like D is our final answer. Final answer, which would be on a budgeted balance sheet? D, accounts receivable. Next question, which is not completed before a cash budget is prepared? A, a capital expenditures budget. B, sales budget. C, merchandise purchases budget. D, general and administrative expense budget and E, budgeted income statement. So let's go through this again using the process of elimination. Which is not completed before a cash budget is prepared? So we have to do this, which is not completed before we do the cash budget. We're imagining the order with which we do the budgets. We have to do the budgets in some type of order so that we don't get out of whack, out of sequence, and we do this in a systematic way. So the cash budget, is kind of near the end. We're at the like the lower third of the budgeting process. We're gonna have to do a lot of stuff before the cash budget typically. Let's go through these and see which of these we would not have to do before the cash budget. In other words, what's kind of like the final stuff we gotta do in the budgeting process. A, capital expenditures budget. And it's not one of the first things we do, but I don't know if we do it before the, the uh, cash budget. We'll have to keep it for now because you think we might capitals by buying uh, property plant and equipment and you would think maybe we use cash for that so maybe we'd have to do that before the cash budget let's keep that for now the second one says the sales budget well I know that's one of the first things we do so we definitely do that before the cash budget because that's like on the top of the list and cash budgets on the bottom third C says merchandise purchase budget 
And again, that's something we do pretty early on because we got to decide how much merchandise we're going to purchase. So I'm going to say that that one uh, is not it. D says general and administrative budget. Nah, that one's kind of later on. We do that possibly. It's not one of the first things we do. So I'll keep that now. And then E says budgeted income statement. So I'll, I'll keep that because that seems like one of the last things we do. We're at like the financial statements, the budgeted financial statements, balance sheet income statement. So let's keep A, D, and E go through it again. Which is not completed before a cash budget is prepared? Either A, capital expenditures budget, D, general and administrative expense budget, or E, budgeted income statement. Of those three, if I'm just imagining what the last thing we're going to do is, I would think E is the last thing we're going to do. So of all of these, I would just consider the fact that the, the final product that we're going to have is going to be basically the balance sheet and income statement typically. And therefore, um, we don't. It, it can't be the case that we would have to do that before the cash budget. So the cash budget's towards the end, but the final product kind of is the, is the financial statements or the budgeted financial statements. So I would think E, final answer. Which is not completed before a cash budget is prepared? E, budgeted income statement. Next question. Which is not used in to prepare a cash budget for November? Which is not used to prepare a cash budget for November? A, beginning cash balance on November 1st. B, budgeted sales and collections for November. C, Estimated depreciation expense for November, D, budgeted salaries expense for November, and E, budgeted capital equipment purchases for November. All right, let's go through this again. Process of elimination, which is what we will apply, which is not used to prepare a cash budget for November. A, so we're on the cash budget, we're on the month of November. A, beginning cash balance on November 1st. Well, if we're going to prepare a cash budget, we got to start somewhere. We're not starting at zero typically, unless it's the first month of budgeting. We're starting at the beginning balance as of the beginning of the month, November 1st. So I would think we would need that. So that's not it. B, budgeted sales and collections for November. Well, we're doing a cash budget. We're going to need sales and we're going to need collections. Uh, we're, we're going to need the cash coming in, cash going out. So I would think that, that we would need that. Then C says, estimated depreciation expense for November. And you might run through these and say, well, that's normal, that's normal, because but depreciation notice is not a cash item. They love, books love asking this question because really this is a question that tests accrual items versus cash items. We're on the cash budget. The depreciation expense has no cash involved. We debit depreciation expense, we credit accumulated depreciation. We spent the cash in the past when we purchased the equipment. The act of us recording the depreciation involves no cash and therefore not on the cash budget. So as soon as we see something like depreciation, something that does not involve cash, that's you know usually going to be the one and oftentimes it is depreciation is, is a common uh, practice in these multiple choice questions to, to put in there with the cash budget it's a common mistake that's actually made as well like, because it's on the income statement as an expense but there's no cash it's kind of like a cash flow statement and then d says budgeted salaries expense for november and notice it says salaries expense and not cash paid so we might say hmm it's got expense but not paid but i'm i'm, I'm going with with c here and then e says budgeted capital equipment purchases and again it doesn't really say whether we we purchase with cash or not but Clearly, we would have to consider any cash payments for capital expenditures. Those would be things like property, plant, and equipment that would be purchased PP and E. So I'm going to say final answer C, which is not used to prepare a cash budget for November. C, estimated depreciation expense for November.